extravagant luxury yachts. 12. The Seven Seas The same man who was responsible for making the film Jaws also once owned this luxury yacht named The Seven Seas. It's considered a mega yacht with a size of over 280 feet, which was apparently not enough for Steven Spielberg, who put it up for sale back in 2015 for $1.2 million. A month, that is. The Seven Seas was designed by Nouveau Lari Leonard and put together by Ocean Co., a Dutch shipbuilding company. Spielberg apparently loved being on the ocean so much that he wanted to bring more friends along with him when he did so, thus propelling the need for a bigger boat. 11. Lady Mora The Lady Mora was first launched in 1990. That being said, it's a boat that's been sailing for quite a while now, and still has managed to retain its notoriety as one of the most high-end yachts in the world. It's a private luxury yacht and is owned by businessman Nasser al-Rashid and has been host to many a celebrity, even present during the prestigious 2007 Cannes Film Festival in France. The Lady Mora may look pristine, but it's a structure that's made of steel and can zip through the water as fast as 20 knots. Up to 30 guests can stay on the yacht, and that's not counting the 60 or so crew members that's needed to make it luxury. You can catch a sight of Lady Mora at a home port in either Palma de Mallorca, Porto Servo, or Monaco. 10. Meteor Yacht If you're not trying to have elaborate, great Gatsby-sized parties, but you still want a cool luxury yacht, then the Meteor Yacht exists for you to consider. It's not the biggest boat to sail the seven seas by any means. Priced at $46 million, you could sail this yacht around for a while, and then in the downtime, retreat to the library complete with a fireplace. It sounds like a relaxing time out on the water if you actually get tired of just looking at the water. 9. The Rising Sun if the fact that the owner of the Rising Sun is none other than David Geffen, the business magnate who's founded companies like Geffen Records, DreamWorks, and Asylum Records, doesn't convince you that the Rising Sun is one of the most luxurious yachts in the world, then maybe the fact that it's worth $300 million will. And the fact that Oprah once spent a vacation here. The motor yacht was originally owned by Larry Ellison, another businessman who founded a big company like Oracle Corporation. But the Rising Sun was designed by famous yacht designer John Bannenberg in 2004. And at 138 meters long, it's apparently the 11th largest yacht in the world. 8. Al Merkab This yacht is considered one of the largest yachts ever built. Launched in 2008, Al Merkab measures at a length of 133 meters, or a little over 435 feet. The famous boat belongs to Hamad bin Jassam bin Jabar Al Thani, a former prime minister of Qatar. The yacht, made of steel, consists of onboard amenities such as bars, a swimming pool, as well as a jacuzzi, a helicopter pad, and even its own cinema. For a steep price, 24 guests at a maximum can stay on Al Markab, as there's 10 guest suites available, not to mention a pair of VIP suites reserved for the owner of the yacht. And the suites themselves live up to the name, with individual bathrooms, a double bedroom, and even a living room for each suite. Tim Haywood is the architect behind the outer design, while the inside was designed by Andrew Winch Designs. 7. Motor Yacht A Designed by well-known French industrial and architectural designer Philippe Stark, the motor yacht known as A was launched in 2008 and is one of the largest motor yachts in the world. A is about 119 meters long, or 390.4 feet. Builder Bloman Voss had very little information released prior to the launching of the mega yacht, only that it went by the name Project Sigma. Philippe Stark describes A as a stealth yacht that has an accentuated smoothness about it, which is probably why they opted for such a simple name. Going as fast as 23 knots out on the water, the yacht comes complete with walls and ceilings that are lined with stingray hides and crocodile skin furniture. If the cost of $300 million didn't convince you how expensive hitching a ride on A was going to be. 6. The Streets of Monaco Whether you're well-versed in the industry of yachts and sailing or not, when it was announced that a vessel known as the Streets of Monaco was proposed to be built, everyone thought it couldn't be a real thing. With an estimated price of 700 million British pounds to be built, and the fact that it's designed to look like a chunk of a street in Monaco, it seems too ridiculous to even conceive. Amenities would include a miniature version of the Monte Carlo, swimming pools, a helicopter pad, tennis courts, and a go-kart track made to look like the Monaco Grand Prix. Only 16 guests would be housed here, a venture that would heavily cost whoever dared own it. 5. The Sovereign Yacht It doesn't seem that spacious, 
but the Sovereign Yacht houses an infinity pool, 10 guest suites, a nightclub, a library, movie theater, a gym, and even a helipad. The yacht measures at 100 meters long and is complete with three decks. This sleek boat was designed by none other than Grey Design, a company founded by Edward Grey that specializes in luxury yachts. With a solar panel for the roof and windmills around parts of the structure, it's supposed to be an incredibly eco-friendly ride through the water. If all those amenities weren't luxury enough, should you desire a limousine in addition to everything else, that's available for you too. 4. Dilbar It might not look like anything special on the outside, but this luxury super yacht known as Dilbar is valued at over $250 million. Dilbar is owned by Russian business magnate and billionaire Alisher Uzmanov. Andrew Winch designed the inside, and it was built in 2008. When it comes to volume, Dilbar is not only among the largest, but is apparently the largest yacht in the world. Its length measures at 156 meters, or about 360 feet long. About 20 guests can stay aboard Dilbar, as it has an interior space of around 41,000 square feet, and two helipads in case anyone needs more helicopter room. 3. Adastra If this yacht looks like it belongs over the skies of an alien planet, then the designers did their job. This spaceship on the sea is known as Adastra, a super yacht designed by famous boat designer John Shuttleworth. What made this vessel even more famous aside from its unique and recognizable design is that it can be controlled by an iPad, as long as it doesn't exceed the 50 meter perimeter from the Apple device. Although it's not the most spacious of yachts, only measured at 42.5 meters long, it is still valued at a price of over 15 million British pounds. 2. Al Said Of course, if the owner is Sultan Qaboos bin Said Al Said of Oman, then no one should be surprised this super yacht is estimated to cost around $300 million. It can reach up to speeds of 22 knots, which sounds great for the 70 guests allowed onto the yacht, along with a crew of 154 people. If you couldn't have guessed, on top of all the regular accommodations that super yachts like these tend to have, there's even a large concert hall in case all that other luxurious stuff was getting too tedious. One. Eclipse. You know a boat is going to be high-end when it has a name like Eclipse attached to it. At an estimated value of $500 million, the Eclipse is so prestigious that it's often known to be called the 1.5 billion yacht, despite it costing around half of that. It's one of those things where its reputation precedes itself. This luxury motor yacht was built by the same company who made the Minimalistic A, the German shipbuilding company that was founded all the way back in 1877. Eclipse was launched in the summer of 2009, its port of registry being Hamilton, Bermuda. It's over 165 meters in length, or 533 feet. What's interesting and possibly the most unique about Eclipse is that it has what's said to be an anti-paparazzi system, which consists of a laser that has the ability to detect lights used in cameras.